Hello everyone and welcome back to another Moon's Magical Build! Today I am over a ocean biome, a deep one, and that's because we're going to be building in the ocean for once, and we're going to be doing a sea temple of sorts. I have this design that I came up with that I'm really excited to actually test out, so I'm going to bring you guys along for the adventure as I make this thing. So without further ado, let's do it! lapse. I'm actually really surprised how this turned out. If you can guess from the time lapse, my goal was to make a coral temple. It's also probably in the title, so you probably already knew. But this is my version of the coral temple. I really love it. It's so cool. Let me get some night vision. There we go. Now we can really see it. I just, I like how it turned out. I like the color scheme. Coral blocks are really hard to work with because they're not the prettiest, like especially texture wise, like this pink one is not, it's not nice. But I think when you combine them and use the prismarine and stuff, you can get a very fun effect that's very, I don't know, colorful and bright and a little bit childish, but it looks cool in the grander scheme. So we have this wall with the uh, patterns of the stripes going all the way along it and it does pretty much match up pretty well and then the towers in the center I love the towers because 
of these beacons. So as you can see, we beacons work underwater, which is something I really realized. They do. You can use beacons underwater. And even cooler, you can put beacons through these uh, conduits, and the conduits still work. So this conduit has a beacon shooting through it, and as you can see, it's still giving me the conduit effect. So they all still work, because every single one of them has a beacon beam running through it and they look so cool so I think that's an awesome feature and I love it. We also have the coral which I kind of want to tell you how I managed this. I just placed gravel along all this and then I replaced the gravel with a command that allowed me to do a uh, mixture of air and all the different types of coral and then I redid that command with a uh, just saying replace the coral with more air until I got the amount that I was happy with because I wanted I wanted a bit more I wanted a bit less coral. I think it looks really cool, just a coral garden going by. I tried fans on like the walls and stuff, but I didn't really like it. It felt very overgrown and stuff, and I realized that's not the effect I'm going for with this coral palace. I'm going more for a uh, surreal kind of regal while still very playful build if that makes sense it probably doesn't but as you noticed i didn't use yellow for the walls and stuff and that's because i wanted the central building to be of yellow coral so we have these yellow with the prismarine i like the roof but the problem with the roof was that uh glass when it's underwater does not work well for some reason i guess it's slightly smaller than other blocks even though it doesn't look like it, but either way, you get this weird watery effect that looks awful, and I don't know, and I think it's a bug, and it probably should be fixed, because it's really annoying, because you can't use glass underwater very well. You can when it's sideways like this, but you can't use it for a glass ceiling at all, so I can't even have glass here, because then it would ruin the effect, which is sad. And I wish wasn't so, but it is, so the glass just shows into prismarine blocks but I like the design enough that I decided to keep it anyways and it looks good from up above which is kind of what matters and down below it doesn't look too bad even though most of the glass is covered. The glass that isn't covered looks really cool peeking through and so does the even the uh, yellow coral that you can see. So that's that. I like the floor as well. I didn't decorate this not because I just ran out of time. I had a busy week. Uh, vacation's coming up soon and I'm trying to get ahead on videos and stuff so that way I can enjoy some time with my family during my vacation. But that's my Coral Palace Kingdom Temple thing. I think I'm going to call it Cor to Coral Temple. Just I feel like the algorithm would, uh, would prefer those uses of words than uh, other ones. But yeah, this is my Coral Temple. I love it. I love the beacon lights. I like that it looks cool in both the above water and also under water. I probably should have made it in a deeper place, but you know, you live, you learn. We're trying not to expand the world too much because of the cave update coming soon. We're debating whether we transfer this world into it or start a new one. So we're trying to keep everything as close together as we can. And this is the closest open ocean biome in this world. But yeah, that's that's everything. That's my uh, coral uh, temple. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned a few tips about building underwater, such as be careful with glass. How they use that there's a command in World of it at least that lets you do like randomized coral slabs work pretty well too. Stairs are finicky. Be careful with them. And yeah, you can make these coral blocks pretty using them in mass. It's a bit challenging, but honestly, when you combine them together, they look really cool and do a really weird fun effect. But yeah, that's all I've got time for. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I also hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!